guys, Nate123 here and welcome to another video where today I'm going to be doing another tutorial. So, uh, yeah, today's tutorial I'm going to be doing, um, uh, I'm going to be showing you how to, uh, so you see these uh, background photos where I have uh, somebody holding something and uh, doing some kind of pose. Like uh, Jacob is uh, is like trying to throw an axe or something. I'm holding a sword. Mark is running off to mine something. <laughs> Penguin is trying to hoe the ground, and uh, and Emily, my sister, is walking over here with a rose. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to do that today. But before we start, I got a comment from, uh, from Modded Gamer, uh, asking me how did I do, uh, in the last video I showed you how to do a, uh, a thumbnail. He asked me how to, how I did the, the, me like trying to type on the keyboard on the laptop so before we start I'm just gonna show you guys how to do that so uh, basically right here um, down here is a little program called minecraft skin viewer so if you want to download that I will have the link in the description but um, all you do is you go to minecraft forums and then uh, the the latest one while I'm making this is uh, is 1.1.2 but um you might have a different one but basically you uh you just click on the link in the description or go to or just search uh minecraft skin uh viewer right here and then uh don't go to any of these go to minecraft skin viewer 1.2 supports 1.8 skins minecraft tools dot 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 uh and that will be the right link but um yeah once you get to here just come down here like all the way down here to um to right here and then uh this only supports uh uh for windows but uh, uh so sorry mac and linux users <laughs> so yeah just come down here and hit download right here but I already have it installed so I'm not going to do that so yeah let's just open up uh, minecraft skin viewer and uh, you won't have it this size when you first open it up it will probably be around right here but I like to keep it like this so that I can really see so you can either come down here to username and type in someone's name so I'll just go I don't know, um, uh, I'll just do Mark442, and it will come up, oh, <laughs> make sure you type their name, uh, how it is, uh, so that you don't accidentally, uh, have something like that. So you can either press enter, or you can, uh, just click on show skin, and then here we are with Mark. So, yeah, and then you can just click on their limbs and head, and move them in whatever pose that you want. So right now Mark is frolicking down the <laughs> frolicking down the field. So uh, yeah, and then if you want to save the image, oh, you will start out in the background. You will start out with a dark stone color, kind of like this. But before you save your image, make sure you uh, right click, go to background and then come down here to transparent and then once you see kind of the checkered background that will that will be the the right background so if you want to save your image just go to um, just right click again then you uh, if you find a skin that you want you can do as well save skin as which if you click on that you can name it whatever you want and then save it to whatever file you want as well but if you don't want to do that you can just do save image as and then you can name it whatever you want mark frolicking <laughs> 
so uh and then come over here to to i i like to save it to my desktop but you can save it to whatever you f file you want i'm not sure that's how you spell frolicking but <laughs> and then uh once you get your name and your oh you can also save any type that you want oh no you, it only lets you do png but um yeah so uh then uh once you have everything set up that you want just uh come over here to save and hit save and there we go it will pop up on the desktop in a moment there we go mark frolicking <laughs> so yeah now since we're done with that we uh now we can head into google um so uh i'm going to be using a program called nova skin minecraft skin editor so uh once you load it up uh it's if you if you want to type it in it's minecraft.novaskin.me but i will have the link in the description so um yeah if you want uh, but uh here uh here we are in novaskin and this is a skin creator as well see i can draw on it whatever i want draw a little smiley face <laughs> but um <clears throat> yeah, so uh, uh, once once you got your skin like what like you like, or also you can come up here and search the uh, the player or name that you want, or you can come over here to open and open a skin that you want to open. <laughs> so um, yeah, and then you can just uh, once you've got your skin already, you can come over here to pose, and then there's a bunch of pre-made poses that you can do um but what i like to do is i just like to do the the normal pose and then it, it isn't like minecraft skin viewer where you can click on the limb and drag it to whatever you want because if you click on it then you then you'll draw on it but uh <clears throat> yeah so oh uh if you if you do that and you do control z too many times all you need to do is uh, go back to gallery, hit open, and then open the skin that you want. So I'm just going to go to skin. It's just going to do dirt. <laughs> okay, so here we have a dirt skin. Now we're going to go to pose. And then we can move the body how we want. And then um, you can bend the body too. You can bend it either like that, and then you can bend it like that too it is a little bit glitchy when you when you do the bending so uh just be wary of that so you can have it in kind of a crouching position and then here in the head you this one goes uh, up and down so let's just have it about right there is good this one <coughs> goes left and right so we're just gonna have him looking at us and then this one goes uh, side to side, like it turns his head uh, like diagonally. So he's gonna be looking at us with a weird, like thinking grin. So uh, yeah, then then if you want to do right arm, you can do this, which goes uh, which goes up and down, uh, and then. Uh, well, forward and backward, I should say. This one turns. This one turns left to right. So let's just have it like this. And then this one, I believe, goes out and in. So, yep, like that. And then um, uh, you can also bend the arms. So let's just bend it a little bit like this. So this one goes up and down in the bending. And then. This one, I'm not actually sure. Oh, this one turns. That's what this one does. So, I like to just keep that normal. So then, um, you uh, you can also have them hold things, but I like to save that till the end. So, uh, uh, you can do the 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 holding uh, hold, uh, item holding rotation. So then, left arm, you can do the same thing. So you can, it's, it's just, it's opposite. So, you can do it, like, uh, I, th yeah, so then you can do it like that, and just bend your arm however you want, and then, yep, okay, now let's just bend it a little, like this, 
<laughs> okay, holding rotation, uh, and then right leg you can do as well, so I'm just going to do it going backwards like that, and then this one can be, this leg can be going forwards, and then you can bend both of them as well, so he can be running, and then, uh, uh, Alright, so th there we go. Now we have our pose. Uh, oh, by the way, the more you bend it, the longer it gets. So let's let's remember it's 0 0.15. Now, look, uh, if you do that, the leg gets really long. But if you only do it to like uh, 0 0.15, then it stays the same. It's just bent a little bit. So, yeah, I that's good. Now let's Now let's do... Uh, let's have it hold, let's have it hold something. So, in the right one, let's have it hold a diamond sword. And then, so, this guy's, this guy, uh, is doing the I Am Stone challenge. And he's running at someone with his sword and his pickaxe, uh, up behind him, up behind them, uh, trying, gonna come kill them. So... Uh, yeah, and then in his left hand, let's have him do a pickaxe. And there we go. So, now, now once you have your, uh, character all ready, you can come up here to save. Uh, I, I did think that it was photo, but no, it's, uh, save. Or you can come up here to apply if you just want to make a skin. But, uh, then once you have your thing already, just hit save, and then... Uh, you can either save your skin, you can do right click save image as, and then, um, and then, uh, do like I did with the Minecraft skin viewer, but, uh, with the, but with the image, instead of doing the skin, you come over here to the image <coughs> pose that you did, then do, then, uh, right click on it, hit save image as, uh, it will normally be as download, you can just keep that if you want, but I like to name it, so, uh, I am stone man. <laughs> so then, uh, yeah, I, I'll just save it to the desktop, but <clears throat> again, you can save it to whatever file you want. So then just hit save and it will download it. Uh, don't, don't get freaked out when you hit save. Uh, the first time I did it, I did, I did get freaked out. Uh, but in, in, unless it's downloading, like, 50 of them, don't get freaked out. So, um, yeah, uh, then you're done, and you can just close out of all this, and then, uh, yeah, so then let's just close out, and here's the I Am Stone Man, uh, and, yeah, so, that, <clears throat> so that about wraps up today's video. I, I use Nova Skin to, to make all, every single one of these. Uh, and uh, usually when they're not holding anything, I, I use the Minecraft Skin Viewer. So today was all about... Uh, today's video... Th today's tutorial was all about... Uh, was all about skins. So, yeah. Um... I hope you all enjoyed this video, if you did, please explore the like button, just like a creeper, and just remember, fight till the ender. And if this is the first video that you've seen by me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the little bombs. So, yeah. Uh, see you guys.